and number one that i would also you know if, if i would have to go back i would do this that create a peer group around you who would do the same thing so for tier 1 colleges yes they have an atmosphere that uh, helps them a lot but if you do not have that atmosphere then build that atmosphere around you ask your friends or ask anyone you know reach out to people who are uh, dedicated and motivated and create your own group uh, do competitive programming solve questions on a daily basis and just be consistent hi guys i'm you missing welcome to my channel in previous videos we have already discussed interview experience of facebook google microsoft amazon direct ai and many more today we are going to talk with priyanka who nailed internship as well as ppo in linkedin so today she is going to share her interview experience her preparation strategy uh, hi priyanka welcome to our channel hi thank you so much uh, could you please introduce yourself hi everybody my name is priyanka and i'm currently a final year student at upes dehradun and i've been a part of various chapters and communities while i was in college such as csi and open community i am also a jhci scholar for uh, 2020 and i did my internship at linkedin in these uh, summers and later on i was extended a full time offer yeah. think of was it on campus or off campus it was off campus completely off campus so you have been part of on campus also and you have given the off campus interview as well so what is the difference you have seen in on campus and off campus i think in on campus it's uh, pretty much very easy for a person because there's very less competition as compared to off campus for off campus there are students from all kinds of colleges tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 colleges everyone's applying off campus and so the competition increases plus uh, uh you know it's it's also a matter of luck that your resume gets shortlisted or not so um uh, it's difficult if you are uh, doing it through off campus i think it's not luck it's like in off campus you have such a good resume like a project uh, and everything in on campus even if you have zero projects and nothing uh, you have a certain cgpa you will eligible for the company yeah these these things are also there for sure okay so what was the selection process of linkedin in our off campus okay so i applied around october last year it was a linkedin job opening um, of software engineer intern so i saw that opening and i asked one of my seniors for a referral and um, after referral uh, so first of all they were shortlisting some of the resumes after that there was a virtual um, co- sorry a coding round an online coding round then a virtual technical interview and again a virtual host manager round oh so because of rounds. because of covid everything was virtual so yeah even I, my internship went virtual so how was your experience in the virtual world it was nice i think most of my interviews have been virtual only so it is nice it's also you are you sitting in your comfort of your home so there's uh, no problem as well but there is a problem of explaining means if person is in front of you you are you could be very expressive and in a uh, virtual world in front of camera it is little bit tough to express yourself and tell everything yeah i think it's uh, see if you're a candidate you have to make effort to und- uh, you know to make the person understand but i guess it also depends on your interviewers you know they also have to be receptive of what you're saying and try to understand what you're trying to say so it becomes a two way thing that both of them have to be a good listener and good speakers tell us about the written test and online coding round experience of linkedin uh so there was a uh, online coding round it was of 90 minutes and it consisted of three questions all of them were hosted on hacker tank and uh, so the question level was in totality it was lead code medium level but there was like first question was relatively a bit easy from the other two and it was more of a implementation based problem solving and the second third question were around string manipulation algorithms and uh, graph algorithms 
what I heard was that even people who uh, passed somewhere around 2.5 questions or uh, something near to that, they were also given a chance of uh, having an interview. Okay, that means at least two question properly and third question half of the test cases. Yeah, because third question is relatively hard than the first two questions. Okay. How was your experience of first round of technical interview in LinkedIn? Um, so it was really nice. Um, I was very nervous at start of the interview, but uh, majorly it was DSA centric again. The questions were a bit easier from the online coding round. The questions were the first question was around heaps and priority queues. And the second question was about stacks and sorting. So there were these two questions. The first question, uh, so we had a collaborative code editor. And for first question, he asked me to uh, basically code the entire solution. For the second question, after we discussed our approach, he just asked me to write the pseudo code for that particular question. So after we were done with these uh, DSA questions, there were 15 minutes left. And um, he asked me two or three questions from operating systems, such as threads, processes, virtual memory. And uh, there was a discussion about my resume projects. So um, yeah, that's that was it. It was a completely one hour uh, of round. After the first round of technical interview, you were selected for the second round of interview. Uh, what was the experience of second round of interview and how it is different from the first round? So uh, after this, there was actually the last round, which was the host manager round. And it was 15 to 20 minutes of just normal discussion, not a very interview centric uh, like thing. So, um, so my manager he asked me questions like, tell me about yourself. Why do you want to be part of LinkedIn and your hobbies? Uh, interests other than academics and uh, something you know uh, things about my the languages and technologies that I worked with why did I choose one over the other and also later on he asked me if I had some questions for him as well so it was very nice and smooth round uh, it all it's all you have to do is just be polite and answer in a normal way and yeah it was 15 to 20 minutes and it was a nice interview nice discussion Congress Priyanka, you are selected for internship at LinkedIn. After that, he might have said this. So, how yeah, was I your got to know later on? Okay. So, how was your uh, internship experience at LinkedIn? Internship experience was number one virtual because of this entire COVID thing. So, it had to you ship to uh, everything virtual, but everyone was really supportive. Uh, even though everything was going on virtual, I had my mentor and manager who helped me with the entire process with my project as well. And even the team members, uh, uh, so I was a part of the InfraDev team and they helped me throughout uh, my entire internship. There were a lot of uh, fun events too. We played a lot of games and there were fun activities. And um, so overall, my project went really well and I got to interact with all the other interns that were doing uh, their internships and also my team. So it was overall a really learning and enriching experience. Uh, I I think your internship went very well. That's why you uh, offered a PPO. So what was the procedure for PPO? They just gave you PPO after the internship or they ask any presentation or interview for that? Um, so we were supposed to give a final presentation of the project that we worked on and basically our entire internship experience. So um, we presented the progress that we made in our projects to the HR uh, manager and to the team. And after that, later on, they had a discussion about it. And I got to know about it around September that I've been extended this offer. So what do you suggest? How can a student or how a candidate can convert his internship into PPO? What should he do? Uh, I only have experience of a virtual internship. So all I can say is just go with the flow. Um, try to be in contact uh, with the other team members of your team, of the other interns that are simultaneously interning with you in that uh, particular organization. Also, ask, keep asking your mentors and managers for feedback and how you can improve. And 
the basic thing is it just go with the flow of what you're expected to do and uh, don't be lazy just keep giving your inputs as much as you can and uh, i think the process is different for all organizations communication with the mentor and manager plays a big role in your progress in internship as well as your selection for ppo so what do you suggest about it how much important it is so um for my mentor i had daily uh, interaction with him so i used to uh, ask him doubts and he used to tell me what how to move forward and it was on a day to uh, day to day basis for my manager it used to be weekly or bi weekly meetings there there used to be stand up meetings that my manager told me that i could be a part of so i so i was able to see how everyone else is working and uh, there were also personal interactions with my manager and they were on a weekly or a bi weekly uh, basis so i used to ask him what's his feedback and i used to tell him about my progress as well like you are not from iit nit so you have not that much exposure for interview on campus so yeah. how did you build your resume and what tips you want to give for resume building so uh, for my first and second year of college i was basically into very extensive development uh, for first year i learned about web development and for second year it was more about android android development so i had these uh, projects in my resume which i was really confident about that if you ask me anything i'll be able to tell you every bit bit of whatever i've created and number two that's important is your uh, coding round or your data structures and algorithms so for that i think if you give if you be consistent with your practice and number one that i would also you know if, if i would have to go back i would do this that create a peer group around you who would do the same thing so for tier 1 colleges yes they have an atmosphere that uh, helps them a lot but if you do not have that atmosphere then build that atmosphere around you ask your friends or ask anyone you know reach out to people who are uh, dedicated and motivated and create your own group uh, do competitive programming solve questions on a daily basis and just be consistent that's all i think being consistent and having a, that atmosphere around you is uh, the biggest thing uh, how did did you prepare separately for the interview so i actually uh, started from around uh, february uh, of so it was uh, in my fourth semester that i started to do properly i didn't know about comparative programming in my first year so i had no idea that something like this even exists i got to know about it in my second year but i was so much into android development that i ignored it and in my fourth semester i realized that now i'll have to do something else will be good otherwise i will me. out of written notice sir yeah so uh, then from february around i started doing for 4 to 5 hours very consistently and uh, then there were summer holidays so in summer holidays basically i used to spend my entire day solving questions so for two three these days and so my rank was at around october so basically from february to october there was a lot of time that i got to practice and get better at it uh, thank you priyanka yeah. thank you very much yeah it's my pleasure no problem yeah guys do like share subscribe and comment i guess that's also thing if you have any query any doubt you can comment in comment section and please do like share and subscribe and thank you priyanka thank you very much again thank you so much sir